Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. You join me on a very cold Saturday morning and I'm just finishing up with some work that I'm doing. So this here is a six inch T and we've used some off cuts to save on some welding. So here for example, there's already a butt weld done. So a few of them are already done. So that's saving me some time. What I'm gonna be doing in this video here is showing you a lot my process and it's just going to be basically me just running through what i'm doing showing you a lot my specs of the machine my techniques just the same old general kind of video that i normally do and hopefully you lot can pick up some tips along the way one end is square and the other end has a bit of a radius to it so this fits nicely onto a, um, a taff. So I rely heavily on the cut to make these pieces level. But here there is the most slightest gap, less than a mil. Now, even tacking over a gap that small causes issues. So I've got a bit of filler wire just in case because it likes to um, blow holes when you're tacking it. Here's the first piece, now I can put the other side on. Again, remembering the right side the flange goes on. This is the next piece. Like I said, it already had one side welded, so it's saving so much time on this job. This fitment is absolutely terrible. The pipe's gone overall and the T's aren't square in the first place. What I'm about to use now are these plugs. They're just rubber um, sealers that when you tighten up, close together and expand. So I'm gonna plug off one end. No, I'm gonna plug off both ends and then the third end, I'm gonna use a sponge with a purging hose in it to put some um, nitrogen in it to purge it. And here's the sponge. Just an old mattress, old sofa sponge cut into shape. And I'm using a grinding disc as a washer so when I pull on the hose to get it out, it doesn't pull all the way through. Now I'm gonna purge it at 15 liters a minute. Now in the meantime, while it's purging, I'm running a Fronius Transtig 2500. Um, I'm gonna start doing that route at around 78 amps, 76 amps, somewhere along them lines. Depends on how it turns out, go up or down. And I'm gonna be using, using these TIG rods, 1.6 mil. 
and running the TIG welder with pure argon at around 14 litres a minute flow rate. And my cup size is going to be, I think, a size 10 with a 2.4 mil tungsten. And if you're wondering about the welding mask that I'm using, this here is um, a speed glass G501 welding mask running an air fed system. And this here is a G502. So I'm going to be probably tacking with the G502 and welding with the G501. And if you are interested in getting your own one, I'm running a competition right now where you can win either one of them. Just follow me on Instagram and you'll see all the details there. Oh my god. So uncomfortable right now. Now I'm in the right position. My back's all bent trying to squeeze in this little gap. What I'm trying to do is keep weaving and dabbing the wire in at regular intervals but it just makes my brain fart trying to, um, to do it like this. It's like trying to um, rub your head. It's like trying to rub your head and um, pat your belly or whatever which way it is. And talking doesn't make it e any easier. I slow down a little bit, weaving more, see how it comes out now. moment of truth let's get some light in there the big reveal I just cleaned it up a little bit because I could reach it I gave it a little clean but you can't really see the root and when I use my torch it messes with the camera So if you can see the root there. So let me know in the comments down below what's better. A better root or a better cap? So the socket has to be at 300 mil and this is 30 mil, so 30 minus 300. So that gives you a measurement of 230 mil, no 270 mil.
and I'm just gonna do a wrap around just so I can put more than one socket on with this one measurement. Save me double handling measuring it twice. So I know, I know this is the orientation the socket has to go on. So to try and find the top center, I bought this. This is just some random tool from um, eBay. Well, it's not a random tool, it's a curvo mark, but I think it's a Chinese replica. Put it level. Pull back this, which pulls out a pin. And then when you push the button on the back, shoots out like a center punch. But it's not really powerful enough to mark stainless steel, so I have to use a hammer. So I'm pulling it out. Guessing roughly where the center is. Leveling it up, pushing the button. And that's put a mark on it. But like I said, it's not powerful enough, so I grab a hammer to put a, a better mark on it. Now it's indented, when this goes in the hole that I just made, it locks in place so I can flip it around without losing marks. When you work, a lot of the times, if you've done something so many times, and for me, I've put thousands of sockets on, you almost go on autopilot, and sometimes some of the easiest, simplest things you overlook. It's time for the plasma cutter now, so I'm going to use this to catch all the nasties that shoot through when you're cutting the hole. This little bad boy cuts through it like butter with a built-in compressor as well. I forgot to hit record, but this is how the first socket came out.
That's our one of the sockets stay there. And here's the other socket. So now the sockets and this piece is done, all I have to do now is put on another piece right here, do a positional weld and it's finished. Now if I put on that piece first, now I'll be dealing with a longer piece with more things in my way and then it will be a struggle to get the caps in and around to purge these sockets. So yeah, I'm glad I've done it this way. So in order to get it level, I'm gonna to have to weld this quarter first and then the, the other quarter just on this side. So half of it's welded and it's gonna pull this direction and then catch it on the other side. Just because um, the chops and everything, nothing's perfectly square and even the tafts are a little bit warped. So trying to get them, trying to find level is really hard. So hopefully it will shrink and pull down. If not, So guys, I am finished. I am finished. That was so uncomfortable. My fingers started to cramp up, uh, feeding the wire, my thumb was starting to hurt. I think I'm gripping everything too, too tight. But yeah, it's finished. Um, I can't get the camera in there, so I'm gonna show you a clip of what it looks like on my phone. I recorded it, came out nice. I'm happy, ready to go home. Um, so if you've like, enjoyed what you see, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all of that, share to your friends, and tune in next week for another video similar to this, but not quite like this. Thanks for watching.